Hello. Hey, we've got a fab commentary here on some totally tubular 80s stuff. Is this 80s or 90s? Um, I think it's the 80s. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this, this is the guy from Adventure of the Nerds. I believe he played the father the dog on says Lizzie no. McGuire. Got a mis I used to have that Mr. Dale head. This is totally Minnie, a Disney special from the 80s that tried to revamp Minnie's image. I wouldn't have known about it if it hadn't been if it, if, it, if it hadn't been for Colin showing it to me, and I wouldn't have believed it either. <laughs> I, I wonder if Disney kind of wants to forget this happened because it's pretty awkward. Because we've got Minnie gleefully calling people nerds and dorks, and it's just personally attacking this guy, nerd shaming. It's okay, Colin. Oh, okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm, I, I'm, I'm been just, triggered. My jimmies are rustled. I'm just as much of a nerd as you are. <laughs> well, maybe you're a tiny bit more, but not enough to count. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, even your dog. <laughs> the dog shade. is ashamed of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, her nice Barbie dream house. <laughs> Yeah, All I did was shave his head and make him unhappy. Yeah, but what has Eddie Murphy done lately? <laughs> no offense, Mr. Murphy, you're more successful than I am. We love you as Mooshu. <laughs> it wasn't your fault the Haunted Mansion movie was bad. Well, not really. Anyway, the, the only really good thing to come out of this was the fact that Rosie Taylor, Minnie's actress, voice actress... Met, um, this was her Wayne. first one, right? Yeah, this was the first time she was Minnie, I believe, and she met Wayne Allway in the voice of Mickey, and they actually got married. Mm -hmm. Which is really sweet, and... <laughs> 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 the laugh. <laughs> Collins would be the same, only more Jewish. <laughs> Mine would... My, I don't know, I have, I have my own awkward laugh. It's the drunken walrus Aww. laugh, I call it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one he does when he really gets going. <laughs> I'm sorry, this just looks so weird. It's... I don't... I can't tell how much of the set is real and how much isn't. Which is, I guess, a good thing? Impressive? Kind of. Mark. It, <laughs> mostly... Like they're going to, like... Not, like to it's like he's in Willy Wonka. Split him into a weird club. <laughs> I don't even... Miley Cyrus? Madonna? Whoa! <laughs> 80s. And here comes Suzanne Somers. Who was that again? She was on Step by Step and uh, Three's Company. <laughs> here in a really bad outfit. Yeah, I was about to say, is this what cool people dress like I, in the 80s? According to Disney. She's got a Mary Poppins hat, so that's kind of cool. I, 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 I do not, I don't know. Being being born in the it 80s, was the same uh, guy again. Know. Eddie Murphy. I don't know. I was born in 1990, so I missed a lot of this. Is that Bette Midler back there? <laughs> okay. Stop doing that to the screen and give oh. me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure who that is. But these are all 80s icons, I guess. I never really thought Eddie Murphy's an 80s icon, but you get the picture. Hi. I'm the director of Mini Center. Hi. The suspenders, <laughs> I wonder if they ever look back on this and just wonder how much coke they were doing. Or just realize how uncool everything really is, ironically. Well, cool is all relative, I guess. Ah, VHS. They just Scooby-Doo'd us. <laughs> hey. Who's this? I have no idea, to be honest. I don't know who the duck is either. Kidding. Donald's got a fedora. My lady. Did it just cut out some oh, this lines is, there? This is an old this is an old tape. I assume it's probably got tracking issues. I mean we're just stealing this from someone's YouTube channel, so thank you, YouTube person. Steal, steal, steal. <laughs> Vanna White. And Pluto with Vanna White? What? Wait a second, what? Who is she talking to? I don't know. I don't think that was Pluto. I think Pluto's only talked in one really early cartoon about moose hunting. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, Zootopia's coming out next year. <laughs> we were just talking about that, actually. Oh, yeah. Many furries to be. 
The main fox, that little furry maker. <laughs> I like the little Wendwish Upon Star motif they play. Okay, well, you gotta love Goofy. Wait, 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 wait. This what muscle, is that? This muscle guy. What's happening now? Dancing on the seal on the side wall. of the wall. I assume that's some kind of contemporary reference that we're not going to get because this is really dated, but... I mean, this wasn't really meant to be watched again and again. This is just a bunch of random stuff happening so far. That's the learned? 80s. <laughs> what have we learned so far? We've learned the 80s were a scary time. And they and clearly they did not foresee the internet here. <laughs> I know a lot of this is there's a lot of Oh, oh god, they're scary. Oh, there's a Max Headroom reference. <laughs> the Illuminati like... will be all over this. <laughs> no, Max Headroom was I think he started out as like a Pepsi mascot and then he Got his own comedy show. It was, it was a weird, it was a weird time. And again, the cavemen from Geico got their own show briefly, so anything can happen. No, they're the Guinness Week. Oh. Oh, Minnie. On which one? <laughs> colorize, colorize black and white cartoon. Leave our cartoons pure. This is actually an interesting cartoon because it appears to show Minnie and Mickey first meeting. <clears throat> well, she did say she used to be a little mousy. Back in the Klondike. Oh. <laughs> is that root beer or actual beer? Well, this was made in the 30s, so... Um... <laughs> probably wow, probably root beer in the colorized here. version and beer in the original. Wow, he's got mad skills. No. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. Um... And wow. Hi. Is this really how they first met? According according to this old cartoon, but who knows? I can't tell if this is Wayne Alwayne dubbing over Walt Disney's original dialogue or what. Colin. What? This is you and me. No, no, no. <laughs> Just us meeting. <laughs> meeting on Tumblr. Well, without so much talking, oh. more like typing back and forth about <laughs> inanimate object characters. Aww. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> nice fourth wall break. A little cheap, but funny. Well, they're they're right. That's why a lot of these specials don't have original animation, unless it's CGI, of course. Hmm. Oh, you know, ouch! Well, <laughs> mm -hmm. Montage! Let's go! Let's try to identify everything! Well, it's called Slapstick Lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the epitome of comedy. It's what made the company you're working for right now. A little bit of gunplay. <laughs> there was this awesome uh, screen cap of Mickey with a gun just pointing it at Do someone. I think it was, it was Donald's Donald. head. Oh, I've, read, I've seen that cartoon. Where's really, that from? It was from a cartoon called Symphony Hour. Um, <laughs> okay, it's not it's not that funny, buddy. Um, it's they're they're playing like they're playing with broken instruments and it sounds terrible. And Donald tries to leave, and Mickey forces him to play using a handgun. It's pretty funny. We should review that. That that that's actually a really funny cartoon too. So yeah, I think this is clock locked. cleaners. <laughs> this is regarded as one of the best Disney cartoons. I don't think I've seen it in a long time, so I'm gonna have to watch it again. Well, hell, near death experience. Just day in the life. <laughs> mm. I just realized how interchangeable some of these cartoons are. Oh, Aww. Aww, this is this is before the tragedy. <laughs> This, I used to watch this cartoon every day when this I was, like, is, three. This movie it's so fluff, isn't it? It's just full of animal fluff, except for the one death that's very famous. Yeah, people forget Bambi has, like, a whole second half that's, like, them as adults. Oh, I, I remember that. Yeah, and it actually gets kind of serious. But it was meant to be, like, a almost a nature documentary as a cartoon. I remember Rano. Oh, yeah, Rano. He was pretty scary. Oh, Adult yeah, the Rano. stag fight. 
Oh, I used to love this cartoon. Was that his name, Rano? That Rano, name? yeah, it was. Yeah, Rano. I, I don't think they ever named him in the movie, but um, it, eventually, it, in the sequel, he has a name, and <laughs> I think in like the storybooks, they mention his name as Rano, and that's the only way I knew what his name was. And then they had a scene here that was cut, <laughs> mm-hmm. that was taken off of YouTube because of copyright. So this is just cutting a little directly to a bunch of really creepy scenes with Pete. This is a Janet Jackson song. Oh, this is this is an early. Some of these are really early cartoons. I don't think apes count as nasty boys, but whatever. No, that that gorilla gets pretty um pretty creepy with many. I remember that cartoon. Yeah. Oh, box lunch! I love this cartoon. Macaroni. <laughs> yeah, that that I don't know what the gorilla's motives in this cartoon are, but it, they're not good. Oh, okay, it, it's um, not Mini that could funny. be watching, you know. <laughs> oh, this is a good one too. Ye olden days. This is one of the few cartoons where Goofy plays an antagonist. Who's Clarabelle? <laughs> uh, Stromboli is nasty. Uh, I, I guess Stromboli is nasty. Really? And uh, I. What is this? I want to say it's Soup Song. Um, Huey, Dewey, and Louie convince Donald that he's accidentally murdered them, and Donald. Uh, Hey, Snow White's the one being nasty in this clip. Yeah, was... Well, not really nasty, well, but no, if you but, don't but want to invading personal space. Yeah, actually. That's a good point. <laughs> I'm sorry. Snow White, I love nasty you, boy. Snowy. <laughs> I don't think you're anti-feminist like everyone else does. I think you walked into a you walked into a house where there were seven men li- living and you essentially took over, which is pretty powerful. Mm-hmm. Oh, big bad wolf. <laughs> oh, from one of the um, less successful that's the, the same sequels. one from the little... Yeah. Oh, Mortimer. Ah-cha-cha. Is he dipping chicken in beer? Man, oh, that's the way to go. I want to watch this one, too. Oh, Woodland we- Cafe! <laughs> I remember seeing the the male uh, bug character back there in um, the Ugly Bug Ball sing-along. Oh, yeah, they <laughs> used to do the montages. I remember some tape issues. Walt Disney really liked um, rear end based humor. His um, his favorite scene in Winnie the Pooh is apparently seeing a rabbit makes a hunting trophy out of Pooh's uh, posterior, which is pretty darn funny. <laughs> That's Will Ryan dubbing over Pete. <laughs> Which I'm sure was the actual that's, that's line. That's the original line, apparently. <laughs> yeah, Will Ryan also voiced Pete in Mickey's Christmas Carol. Uh, Why yours, Ebenezer? How do you feel now? Well, I don't know. Random background music. Jeez, Suzanne. You're looking at the father on Lizzie McGuire, buddy. It is? Yeah. <laughs> I only know this because of Wikipedia, which I checked five minutes before. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> He's standing right next to you. <laughs> confidence, okay. Okay. All right, more we classic just want cartoons. Another this, excuse this, whole to... thing, this whole thing is just a montage exactly. of reused animation. <laughs> it's, it's so weird to see this in color. I'm so used to these in black and white. And Mickey's first color appearance, by the way, he wore green pants. Why colorize these things? Um, 80s, I don't know. To make them this more is... hip? Oh yeah, this jazz hand's very hip. <laughs> singing, singing parlor songs, very hip. Mm-hmm. They are really adorable. Appropriation, whoa. <laughs> Wait, what's appropriation? The scatting, I don't know. Lord, what isn't appropriation or racist? 
Name one thing. I dare you. Water? No, someone can find a way to make water racist. I don't know. I'm this gonna is what Tumblr refrain. has done to us, everybody. I'm going to refrain from <laughs> talking about what happened on Tumblr recently just because I don't think people like that should be talked about. So anyway. Fair enough. This was seen as, like, cutting edge back in the 30s, you know? Seeing, seeing a mouse sing and dance with the sound actually coming out of his mouth and not from, like, someone in the... Oh, I see. There had to be a reason why it was made. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was cutting edge back then. And, hey, it's Elton John. Yay! Ooh. Who is the... Okay. Disney, Minnie gets around. We need to have a little talk about your interspecies uh, <laughs> romance going on here. Well, this, I think, is right before Elton John came out of the closet. Just like that, I'd say he's already out of the closet. <laughs> we love you, Elton. We love Rote El Dorado. We love mm -hmm. Lion King. And I like that one song you sang for Fern Gully. Oh, yeah. Aida. Um, we got Aida. Did you? Did he just toss Mitty somewhere? She's a cartoon. She'll live. See, she landed on her feet. And in between two guys. Well, there you go. We helped. <laughs> this is fun choreography. Is this Coney Island? Um, I don't think it's Coney Island, but it's definitely... The soundstage? Well, it's definitely Coney Island-based, the whole boardwalk thing. <laughs> who, who, oh, Elton. Who, who's the guy with the cotton candy beard? This special oh, is just... such a cute voice. The special is just an excuse to throw a bunch of random stuff at us. Well, that's... Yeah. <laughs> uh-uh, honey, he, he ain't batting for your team. Oh. <laughs> She has a cute voice. I can't get over how cute her voice is. I never really noticed. Chrissy Taylor's done a lot of um, done a lot of voice work. She was B Baby Piggy on the Mupp Muppet Baby. She was Birdie the Early Bird in the McDonald's commercials. She's uh, the Nerdy Kid Martin on The Simpsons. I've got to say, I respect people who do these dance routines with anime characters, like you know Dick Van Dyke. Because you gotta imagine they're there. Adam Leota? Are they shipping Elton John with Minnie Mouse? Well, someone does not like that. Who? <gasps> That's right, Mickey plays, oh God! Mickey plays an antagonistic role here. Boy, for, I, for I would have been pretty scared, actually. But did Mickey, you see how, how angry he looked? A very sinister Mickey. I know. I've got to say, though, Mickey, you've got nothing to worry about. Yeah... Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we've made too many gay jokes already. Oh my God, cats! Oh, wow, more like Dalmatians. I can't even tell what that guy was. I think I saw my hey guys. the dark ones. Hey guys, that cat person, that random cat person just now, the two-tone mm. cat person. Colin is freaked out by that stuff. Why are you giving? Them, why are you giving them <laughs> material? I, just, I don't know. I just I don't know. Zoobly so, just, Zoo, just, Zoo creeped me out as a kid. I'll say that. Just oh, wow. put it on your nightmare fuel blog, I guess. I will. I can I see should, how should, some men feel. This. I can see how some men oh. feel um, objectified sometimes. Oh, how this... long have they been singing this already? It's it's a moderately long song. So Minnie, this is why steps. this is why this was the ending song in Chicken Little, huh? I have actually never seen all Chicken Little. I kind of don't want to. They were kind of betting on that to save the studio for a while. <laughs> they uh, they bet on the wrong course. Oh, DreamWorks. <laughs> That's Jeffrey Katzenberg's Elton post. <laughs> You're about to get kicked off. <laughs> well, then again, he did work for DreamWorks. What was El Dorado? So maybe it's cool. Oh yeah, and El and Katzenberg used to work for Disney, so. Yeah, but he has a reading heap owner for Disney, as everyone knows. So. True. Whoa, Suzanne. Just do us, a do us a favor and don't get plastic surgery, okay? Oh, too late. That was mean. Ow, I'm sorry. Right. That was mean of me. I doubt she seeks out these videos. She's probably got better things to do. Oh, sounds like me in high school. What Acts like me in high school, too. He said he tried to date 200 girls and they all had to wash their hair. What? What? That's, you know, the classic excuse, I have to wash my hair. Oh. It makes no sense. I thought maybe he did, he did something 
Oh, no. And then their hair no, no. <laughs> was dirty afterwards. I was just des desperate and awkward. I pretty much hated it. I, I hated virtually everybody in my school because my school was... The high school I went to was relatively small. And for some reason, a lot of... Um, a lot of delinquents went to that school. It was like mostly delinquents, so I really couldn't stand anybody. So I didn't, I couldn't care less whether or not I had a date. Really, hmm. <laughs> I just wanted to not deal with anybody in that school, which is why I went to a separate high school <laughs> for for theater, so that I can be in musicals and such. This, this is such so me. Oh boy, cartoons. <laughs> <coughs> well, that's me too. Oh, flowers and trees. Disney's first color cartoon. Aww. I like Pluto's early design where he's kind of wrinkly and lumpy. But I just like wrinkly dogs. What species of dog is he anyway? I think he's supposed to be some kind of hound. I mean, he's been described as a mutt, but if he was anything, he was some kind of bloodhound. Oh. Yeah, that's right. He does have a spaniel-looking girlfriend, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah, he's dog, uh, Fifi. And he gets... He, there's another dog named Dinah who was a, um... <laughs> A uh, dachshund <laughs> girlfriend. Oh. Her body language says no, but her tail says yes. Oh, conversation hearts were once a new thing. <laughs> oh, that's. Oh, that's, cute. that's adorable. Oh, God, they're so adorable. <laughs> no. Oh. Flower! He can call me Flower. He was my favorite character when I was wants. little. Because he was just so darn cute. Oh no, that's adult Flower. Oh, adult okay, Flower. He was, was still cute pretty too. cute. Sterling Holloway voiced him in the. Um, really? Yeah, in the late in the final scene. So he's Ka, Pooh, and Flower? And, and several other Disney characters. He's done a lot of Disney. That man was kind of the voice of Disney, kind of like a Jim Cummings is now. And they both voice Winnie the Pooh. Oh, yeah, Twitter painted. <laughs> yeah, Twitter painted. I was thinking of getting a tattoo that's in Twitter painted. Hmm. Well, I know someone who has a tattoo that says a Kun Matata, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, you know, Disney, Disney, uh, Disney word. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yo, owl. get off me, you! Yo, man, <laughs> come on, burst from space. Oh. <laughs> and of course, as we can see, penguins always sold. Where's this from? This is from a silly symphony about penguins. <laughs> I think it was called uh, Peculiar Penguins. <laughs> the shot always made me laugh at, with, with him walking in the air. The, the owl, the owl's probably the most cartoony out of all the animals in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very charming character. Gosh, that's awful. Yeah, yeah. Men's yeah, yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Or orgasms are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> that part creeped me out and made me laugh. And even you. Yes, it could even, even happen to you. You remind me a tiny bit of a dull flower sometimes. Oh gosh, because I stink? No, you're <laughs> cute. Oh. And... One thing I find a little odd is that Mrs. Rabbit can actually be met at um oh, yeah, but, but isn't at Disney cool? World. Well, I think it's it's cool, but I just find I, I find it to be one of those obscure characters you can meet. I mean, I guess it makes Didn't... sense because you know you can make Thumper into a costume, and there was a flower costume, but I don't know where he but where now, what happened to that. Your mother doesn't like this character, right? Yeah, she 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 for some reason my mom does not like Mrs. Rabbit because she's too sexy or something. I guess. Oh, there's Dinah. Yeah, she I, probably ha has never seen Animaniacs. Oh, Minerva Mink, yes. Hello Nurse. <laughs> I, I think I think she was I think she found Mrs. Rabbit's um, curvaceousness to be a little disturbing when she was younger or something. So she probably wouldn't like, you know who either, a certain fandom that yeah. we mentioned already. But oh. I don't know why. I just I, don't I, feel I comfortable just, saying. I think she'd just be confused by it. Who isn't? Well, I mean, Fair who enough. isn't that isn't in the right. it's the same goes for any fetish, really. <laughs> oh yeah, back when Tink was a real oh yeah, Tink, Tink, which with the capital B, <laughs> which I actually, 
Her new personality, I mean, it's cute, but she's, she's, they could have kept a little bit of that, don't you think? I yeah. know that she turns red and such, but she um, maybe she's just maybe she's like a species or something. Maybe she just doesn't like female humans or something. Well, if Peter. it has, if if they're if they're you know muscling on on Peter, mm. but um, I consider the the Disney fairy movies to be alternate universe. That's that's the best thing I do. Earth two fairies. Colin, th- tell me something. Yeah. Th- this is the same material as the, the past two things we've reviewed, right? Disney stuff, yeah. Well, maybe not the circus one, but this is reminding me a lot of the Halloween music video. Oh yeah, because it's all it's all clips. montages. Yeah. I random guess we, clips of past we gotta broaden the... our horizons, I guess. But we have fun with this. Oh. There's Mortimer's original appearance before they brought him back years later. The only thing I remember Mortimer from is House of Mouse, which was an amazing show. Oh, it was an amazing show. Seriously, bring that bring that stuff back. We need that. <laughs> but yeah, Mortimer... bring back like a CGI version or something. <laughs> any any version, anything to bring them all together. Well, I'm saying that because they can't really have CGI characters in a show that's 2D, or, or they could. That's but true. And we could see weird. some interesting CGI redesigns of the other characters. Exactly. Do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Donald. Whoa. You think they ever will bring back House of Mouse? Um, I don't know if they're going to do that specifically, but they could probably do something like that. I mean, it's well received among the fandom. Aww. So, in other words, we should have fights so we can make up afterwards. It makes for a more dramatic relationship, and don't you want a nice dramatic relationship that's loud and everyone has no choice but to be a part of? Well, you need that uh, second act reversal. (laughs) What do you mean? You know, the three-act story structure. (laughs) Boy gets girl, boy loses girl, boy gets girl again. (coughs) It's like every every romantic comedy follows that. (laughs) Don't count our chickens. This is only 1934. Or earlier. Yeah, and they broke up They broke up Kermit and Piggy, so at this point, I don't think any couple is legit. I know. Well, I mean, legit well, forever. I, I'm going to be honest, in though. The, in, in the Disney canon, anyway. Kermit and Piggy were always kind of a rocky relationship. I can never quite see it. Oh, wow, this is like the second Mickey Mouse cartoon, the Galloping Gat Show. Really early Mickey. He's not even wearing gloves. Put on a glove, man. We won't be able to see your hands when you put your hands in your waist. You'll just turn into a big gelatinous blob. Wow, Pluto. <laughs> Pluto, you didn't get fixed, did you? Oh, God. Oh. That's terrible. <laughs> actually, I actually think I like Diana a little more than Fifi. Less personality, though, and the fact that she's Minnie's dog makes it a lot cuter. I always liked Daisy's personality. Like, I wouldn't want to be friends with her because, you know, she'd be that really annoying friend, but at least she has a distinct sort of personality. You know? Yeah, I mean, no offense to Minnie, but Daisy's... They should give her a little more personality. Yeah. Like, Daisy, I remember there... Bear. I remember there was a House Mouse episode where Mickey and Minnie just wanted to, to drive somewhere and watch the sunset, sunset and have a nice, peaceful date. Oh, yeah, and Daisy just... muscles in. <laughs> yes. Well, Trust McNeil's McNeil's performance really added a lot to her character, too. Don't you just love broccoli? (laughs) Broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. (laughs) Oh, this cartoon here is an interesting one, The Barn Dance. It's one of the only cartoons where Mickey actually loses. Minnie leaves with Pete at the end. Whoa. Well, that was the fourth big Disney nerd side coming out. Fourth Disney cartoon, so they're still working out the formula. And you know she regretted that, man. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, as we saw from the other music video. Pete's a bit of a creeper. Although he... Does get a wife and kid later on. Oh, yeah. And then... Isn't it, is his wife's name Peg or something? Peg. Peg and Pistol, yeah. Who well, names their kid Pistol? Well, one of Pete's, one of Pete's um, aliases was Pistol Pete, as as it was Peg Leg Pete, so they're both cute little references. <laughs> I like this one, this cartoon. Oh, Brave Old Taylor. Yeah. Not that was on a Valentine's Day VHS that I had. Oh, yeah, DTV Valentine. Along with a music video uh, before that with Timon and Pumbaa singing Stand By Me. Classic. Uh, it's just it's so cute. And the Brave Old Toaster makes a cameo in that one. I think it was... Well, or what? The, it's just a toaster, though. Yeah, but it was done by the same animation um, company that did the sequels. Dang. So I'm pretty sure that was just, that was. Uh, oh, the my God, all these years I never herself. knew. Oh, this is the moth in the flame. <laughs> Don't play this with fire. This is pretty funny. Yeah, very well animated flame. <laughs> oh, he's so goofy. Gosh. Oh. This looks very Flesher to me. Yeah, it does look like a Flesher cartoon. Well, they were rivals at this time. 
This is um, Ye Olden Days again, which is a really cute cartoon. A lot of these cartoons are cute. I mean, Disney... Warner Brothers is known for biting crazy humor. Disney is known for beautiful animation and being really cute. Among many other things. Also, frightening And the characters us. tend to have the most authentic personalities, to be that, honest. That's true, that's true. Um, <coughs> the one that started all. <laughs> um... What about the other Disney couples? Well, this was in a... Well, yeah, we had Cinderella and her prince. Um, and what about Aurora, Aurora and Philip? Yeah, and I don't know if Little Mermaid had come out quite yet. Because you know, you know if Little Mermaid had come... You know if Little Mermaid... No, those haven't come out yet. Oh, okay. But, Sorry. No, that's fine. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> I was just. I'm not, I was gonna, just, I'm not gonna be a jerk. I was just leering was at all, Colin Lake. I was already a jerk once <laughs> to Suzanne. I'm. I'm gonna be nice. Oh, he's got the Elton John outfit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh God. Big but this is hat. literally what this Elton John was wearing. This is literally what you just told me to do. <laughs> Oh, shopping. Let's sing about it. I'd love to take you shopping, actually. <laughs> I'm going to quote Little Shop of Horrors here. You'd be seen in public with me, Audrey? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, another production number. This is... This is fun in a really embarrassing sort of way. A song about... Shopping. Not feeling adequate enough, so you go out and buy stuff to help you make you feel better temporarily until you realize you spent too much money on something. America. That you buy. Ooh. Chance to design an office for many. Yeah, you can't buy confidence. Well, actually, you can. That's why Donald Trump is running <coughs> for president. Okay, not gonna make this political. Don't watch SNL. Okay. Do, do, do. Colin has a raging hate boner for Trump. Oh, come on. I should. <laughs> Man's a terrible person. I mean, I'm not saying that we all don't. I'm just saying that yours is especially funny because Colin... I'm you, afraid of Colin, him. Colin, you don't understand. Colin doesn't hate anyone, <laughs> but he hates Donald Trump. I, and that's, I, I don't hate anyone except for Donald that's Trump. That's superb. <laughs> you gotta do a lot to make me actually hate you. Ooh, that's a nice little, little wipe effect. Woo! Wait... God, this this the special is so bland that we have to talk about other stuff while there's nonsense going on on the screen. That's what commentaries do sometimes. I mean, you know what the worst commentary I've ever seen was? What? The producers, the musical. Um, the choreographer slash director seems like a very nice woman. But it her sounds commentary, like she's written it out before, while she's reading well, it. It's literally just, okay, here's Uma Thurman, and there's Matthew Broderick. And now he's going to say, I want you to do this. And now he's going to say, I can't do it. And now they're dancing in a fountain. It's hmm. like, she just, it. she, she just kind of says what's happening. And doesn't even really comment on it so much as describe what's happening. Whoa, getting provocative with that sax. <laughs> Is this our main character? Yeah, he's... Now he's, he's become he's, the he's, sexy sax guy? Yeah, ooh, ooh that was a nice move. <laughs> It would hurt my knees. Nah, I've done that before. It wouldn't Ooh. hurt. Especially if you're wearing denim. Oh, okay. Well, then never mind. I've got some <laughs> choreography to try out later. <laughs> shop in. <laughs> With these lyrics, shop in. I want to buy it. <laughs> I knew they were going to rhyme that. Let's try it. Try it, of course. Well, let's think of other things you could do. Um, if I don't like the color, I'll dye it. <laughs> Um, if I'm too fat, I'll die it. In, I'll, I'll die it. <laughs> hey, that would work. Um, can't deny it. No, that sucks. I'm an amateur lyricist, so I like to play a little lyric games. I used to be pretty good at poetry back in middle school. Well, if you had the potential then, you can do it now. When I wrote a poem for one of my crushes back in my... Uh, back in New York. Um, how'd that move it? How'd that work out? Uh, well, we're, we're together now, so yeah. I guess not. <laughs> God, that hat. What is she wearing? Let's make this a Maxwell house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Thank you. I got a little game left in me. <laughs> oh, the pressure is on now. The cool hip world. <laughs> 
Sybil Shepherd is very pretty. Mm. Stop taking my lines, Minnie. Oh, Uncle Wall. Oh, take your this hands is the, off. the actual, the actual um, heart and soul of this um, special. Subtitle, what is this BS? We don't need no subtitles. We don't need no subtitles. Well, Colin doesn't. Okay, fine. Subtitles do help, but... I love Donald. He's my favorite. Look at the, he has a little tuft of hair. Ew. Yeah. Hmm. They should make him like that all the time. He looks cute with the tuft of hair. <laughs> or feathers. Well, he's usually got the hat on, too. I love a duck in a tux. I'm pretty sure Donald has fangirls, too, if a certain blog on a certain website has taught us anything. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to name it here, but it is awesome. <laughs> you know And the person who runs it is awesome. And that's all I'll say. Oh, I love Walt. Oh, let's have a clip within a clip. Clipception. This movie is... Dumbo is upsetting, isn't it? You know, Dumbo's regarded by a lot of people as one of the best Disney films, but Oh, I, I love the movie, but it's upsetting. Isn't I it? honestly <laughs> don't care for Dumbo that much. I find it, again, really upsetting and it's kind of a sad story. Well, I Brave mean, Little Toaster is upsetting. Well, Arguably more so than Dumbo, but it's still pretty good. To, it's good to watch every now and then. I guess you're right, but the whole separation of a child and their mother being ostracized by society, and mm. it's, it, it, it gets you. It gets to you. At least in Toaster, they're all together. I don't know. I didn't grow up with Dumbo like I did with Toaster and other Disney films. Mm. My, I grew up with My mom actually Disney wouldn't let me films. wouldn't let me watch Dumbo as a kid because she said it was too sad. Wow. Never mind the fact that I watch Bambi every day, but... <laughs> I wonder which of us, which of the two of us had more Disney videos to watch when we were young. Oh, I'll have to compare our VHS collections later. I think you had more, like, like specialized stuff, like more sing-alongs and specials. Mm. And I had just the basic movies. I had a few sing-along tapes, and but not much else. And all those glorious clamshells. Yeah. But um, I had Halloween tree. Mm, true. <laughs> now, the lesson here is to be yourself, which I think is a good lesson, but I think the lesson should be be your best self. So, like, if, you know, don't don't say the first thing that pops into your head. You know, be be your best self. Think before you act. Also, this this special doesn't really do a good job of saying be yourself. Yeah, because it tells him to be someone else, and then says, oh, no, be yourself. We yeah, just scammed you out of how much you same. paid for this. <laughs> They're total opposites, but do both of them. Yeah, I mean, like I said, be your best self. That's the lesson that you should take away from stuff. Like, I got, I got the whole be yourself thing. The, Cars 2 tried to make that, um... Um, lesson, but the thing is, Mater is kind of a jerk in some scenes, and they're like, no, if they don't like you, that's that's their problem, but no, Mater should learn to behave himself more. Was Tiger Lily the first, um, the first, like... Native American Disney character? Non-white character in a Disney film? Um... We're not uh, counting Fantasia, of course. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, um... <laughs> not counting, Well, not counting. Little Hiawatha from the Silly Symphony... And yeah, not counting well, Fantasia, because Sunflower a... got cut anyway. Um, is that a movie, or is that a... Uh... That was a Silly Symphony. Well, so it's not um, a movie. Well, Tiger Lily, um, what, are we counting Song of the South? Because that came before Peter Pan. But the, all the cartoon characters in that are Are, are, animals. are animals, so not humans. <laughs> so I don't think we can give okay, an animal so that an ethnicity doesn't... unless we're humanizing them. That's true. Um, Tiger Lily very might as well have been. Huh. I, I'm trying to think. Oh, this is a good stumper. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I know there's some, some Indians in Pecos Bill's segment from Melody Time, but I'm not really going to count those guys because they're on screen for a second. Mm, too minor. I mean, Tiger Lily is a character. An actual character. I mean... Oh, yeah, and then really there's sure Saludos Amigos. I'm not sure what huh. Stromboli is, what this. ethnicity Stromboli is. He's so Italian, that's... isn't he? I think he's like some kind of gypsy. Hmm. Italian gypsy. I, I don't know. Eh, the Whoopi Party. Not a question to ask right now. Yeah, right. I guess you're right. Still, it, it's interesting to think about. Oh, early Goofy, back when he was Dippy Dog. <laughs> so, don't be yourself, be yourself? What are you trying to tell me, Minnie? Take it to the max, max. Okay, I'll take it to the max. That's the lesson we're learning. Everybody take it to the max. Uh, Everybody dance. Makes me wish Goofy's son was here. Oh, Max. Oh, yeah. That's what this special should have been about. I, I don't think Max was a character yet. I don't know when Goof Troop came out. Well... That was something. 
I apologize for bothering everybody with my political stuff, but anyway. I'm sorry for spurging about Donald Trump. Spurging about Spurging, Trump. yeah. But you know what? This was, for, for, for all its flaws, this is a fun little special. It's awkward and, you know, seeing And Pluto- we spent a lot of time talking about stuff nothing having, not having to do with any of this, but that's just because it's so asinine. We had yeah, to talk about see, something else. Um, if, 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 if all else, you all got to witness Pluto on a date with Vanna White, so... And shipping uh, Elton John with Minnie Mouse and having Mickey get really angry. angry. jealous Mickey. Yeah, well, have a good night. Totally fab. Good night, everyone. (laughs) Hoo-hoo!